reached the end of the Patrick Troughton era. My favorite doctor of all time, actually. Yeah, so I decided to dress up as my favorite companion, Jamie McCrim and my Jamie McCrim and cosplay, I think you've all known about this cosplay by now. I made this kilt myself, it's about four meters long. Yeah. So, the last season of the black and white era, Patrick Troughton era. So, yeah, let's dig into it. Season 6 aired from, let's see here, the 10th of August 1968 up until the 1st of June 19. No, the 21st of June 1969. And it featured Patrick Troughton as the second doctor. And it had the companions Zoe, which first appeared in the story before this season started. The Wheel in Space, a Cyberman story. And also we have Jim McCrimmon, you know. He's been with the second doctor since the story The Highlanders, which was Patrick Troughton's second story, so... Yeah. Let's dig into this. So this time I prepared so stuff doesn't fall down like last time. So let's start. The first story. Story number 44. The Dominators. Which is a five-parter, which is a pretty, pretty bit done regular. And the reason for it being a five-parter, I think, is because it was supposed to be a six-parter. Or maybe it was supposed to be a four-parter and got an extra episode. I don't know exactly how it is. I just need to fix one thing here. Yeah, it went, my screen on the computer went black. So, story number 44, The Dominators, a five-parter. It's not a really good story. It featured the quarks, these small little creatures, which was an attempt to beat out the Daleks, since uh, Doctor Who didn't have the rights to do the Daleks anymore because Terry Nation wanted to do a spin-off uh, in America with the Daleks. They didn't succeed as the Daleks, that's probably obvious because you have never heard of the quarks maybe before this maybe you have but the Daleks you definitely have heard of so the Dominators next up we have a favorite of mine also a five parter Mind Robber now the first episode is a typical filler because yeah they had an episode of no budget or anything just so but, but still they managed to do a pretty good story which follows up the, the rest of the Mind Robber. So the Mind Robber takes place in a sort of uni parallel universe where everything you see is based on storybook characters. So we have, for example, Rapunzel, Gulliver, yeah, lots of other characters which I don't know the name of at the moment. And also what's interesting about this one is that Fraser Hines, who plays Jimmy McCrimmon, got sick, he got the chicken pox. So they had to solve that, and they actually managed to solve it by making him frozen into a cardboard cutout, and the doctor had a puzzle where he had to put him back his face like it was supposed to be, so it looked like Jamie again had failed. So we had another uh, actor portraying Jamie McCrimmon for those episodes. Yeah. The mind robber. I'm just gonna do one quick thing here. I'm just gonna grab my this one pretty quick because then I can just do like this and my computer won't go dark and I can see what it says. Yeah, so that was story 45. Story number 46 The Invasion, which is one of the last uh, stories where there are missing episodes. So the missing episodes are part 1 and part 4. And also, this one is the first one where they animated instead. Uh, so, episode 1 and 4 are the animated versions. They are sort of flash animation. And also, this one features the Brigadier. Now, he is the Brigadier. Not like last time when I screwed up, sort of, and babbled with a little bit of goity goop. And... Now, he has been promoted to the Brigadier. Also, this one features Sergeant Benton for the first time. Although, I don't think he's ever called Sergeant Benton in this one. I think he's a no-named army character. 
I think also unit is actually formed when this episode. Yeah, this is the first first stories where unit is featured as well. Cyberman story, really good one. So two episodes are missing from this one. It has a really this one has a lot of comedy from Patrick Troughton's side, which makes this one a really good story. Yeah. Next up we have the Crotons. And uh, well, I don't know what to say about this one. It's not a good story. It's a four-parter. For an apparent reason that it shouldn't be more than a four-parter. No, I don't know why it's a four-parter. It's but it's good as a four-parter because this one wouldn't be good if it was longer than four parts because it isn't really a good story. Because the Crotons look ridiculous. Also, this one has a funny scene where Zoe is more clever than the Doctor. Because Zoe, for those who didn't know, was she was a girl who was working at the space station and she was really clever, so she was sort of... Uh, yeah, rival to the Doctor in, in a way of intelligence at least, not rival since they were friends, but yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, that makes it a bit fun, but the story in itself isn't that good. But still, if you love the second Doctor just as much as I do, watch this anyway. So, that was story 47. Story 48, then. Story 48 is called Seeds of Death, features the return of the Ice Warriors, and it's featured on this box called Revisitations 2. So there are three Revisitations boxes for those who don't know. And this is the special edition, so the regular edition isn't featured on Revisitations 3 box. But I always want the special edition, because the audio is better in quality, the picture is better in quality. So, yeah, I really like this one. And, well, this episode is quite good, because it features... Uh, well, I really like the Ice Warriors, so it's a good one. Also, because uh, I really like the story. It's fun, and even though it's six-parter, I don't really like six-parter because they feel sometimes too long. But this one, they really got the story going during the entire six parts. So, yeah. Good story. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, but uh, yeah, there's a transportation called T-Mat, and uh, they use it to, to travel between the moon a uh, base on the moon and on earth and it's sort of a teleporter and well the ice warriors uh, took over the moon base there and was going to take over earth as well with the help of a fungus yeah i'm not gonna spoil too much because this one you really should watch this one so now story 49 here it comes to the last missing episode so story number 49 the Space Pirates exists on this little thingy here, and also, uh, what was I going to say? I don't remember what, yeah, also, uh, this is uh, the most missing episodes in one particular story from this season, because it's missing five out of six episodes, so episode two is the only one that exists and it's on this one. By the way, I'm not sure if I told you, this season consisted of 44 episodes out of which 37 still exist, so seven episodes are missing. Now I told you about all those seven, so five on this one and two on the invasion. Lastly, we have the war games, and here we really need to talk about this one because it's a ten-parter, and when you hear the word ten-parter, well, even I, who really likes Doctor Who, thinks, oh my god, a ten-parter, that's not gonna work. I mean, for example, uh, I didn't think some of the seven-part stories in the third Doctor's first season worked that well, and here we have a ten-parter, but they actually managed to make it interesting for the entire ten episodes. Also, this is the first story to feature Gallifrey. This is also one of the few moments where the entire cast is changed at the end. So Zoe leaves, 
Jamie leaves and the Doctor leaves and we have a whole new compa companion for the next season, a whole new Doctor for the next season. And that hasn't happened that often. I think it's happened like one more time besides this and that is when uh, there was a transition between... I don't count the transition between Doctor Who the movie in 1996 and, uh, and uh, Series 1, Episode 1. Because, yeah, it's not weird that that happened between where, there, but I, I'm i gonna say the transition between Season 4 and... No, Series 4 and Series 5 of Doctor Who in the new series, because they changed the Doctor to Matt Smith and also they changed the Companion to Amy Pond. So, yeah, 10 part story about a planet where the Warlord who's also a Time Lord, by the way, uh, has a planet where he creates different war zones. So he has a war zone to find out which sort of armies are the best. So there are the Roman Empire zone where there are Roman soldiers, there are the World War I zones where the World War I warriors fight warriors. Wow, that sounded a bit barbaric. Yeah. But, yeah, so Ten Potter. Also, this is actually the longest story that still exists in its entirety, if you don't count Trial of the Time Lord, which is with the Sixth Doctor and has 14 parts, but I count that as four separate stories. That's at least my opinion. So, the longest story. Story number 50. Yeah. And also what's interesting about this one is that when they filmed the last episode, they didn't know who was going to play the third Doctor. So the regeneration only starts in this one, and it the screen goes to the credits, and we don't see the next Doctor first ever in picture before uh, the first episode of season seven. So that's what we got. That's all for Patrick Troughton. Let's drink out his life essence just like we did with the first Doctor. I really like orange soda. Yeah, and I'm not gonna start to drink out of the Third Doctor's mug because, well, the Third Doctor wasn't even visible in this particular part. Though, one thing to mention is that a fan film was made pretty, pretty shortly before uh, John Pertwee, who portrayed the Third Doctor, passed away. So, in 1996 or 1995, this one was made. It's called Devious and uh, the thing about that is it's a short film um, featuring yeah a t 10 minute uh, part of that one exists on the War Games DVD and it has the transition from the second to the third Doctor so John Pertwee came in to do that part for that fan film so it's pretty nice exists on that one. Yeah Let's see here if I've missed anything. No, I haven't missed anything. That's it. So, the last season then, in black and white, we have story number 44, The Dominator's Five Parts, Five Part Mind Robber, story 45, 46, The Invasion, which episode 1 and 4 are animated. We have The Crotons, which is story number 47, story number 48, featuring the Revisitations 2 box set, which is the Seeds of Death, 6 parter. Story number 49, Space Pirates, one episode exists, and it's featured on Lost in Time box set, the last episode to be featured on that one. And lastly, the War Games, the Epic 10 parter, which features the Generation. Now, to end this, before saying the usual phrase, I'm just gonna say Kragantua! Or how it's pronounced, it's the last line that Jamie McCrimmon has in Doctor Who. And uh, uh, it's a battle cry which he uses. I can write it down in the description just so you know how it's spelled. <laughs> yeah. So, that's it. Now I'm gonna get out of this cosplay because it's pretty cold. I know kilts, you know, it's a bit chilly. Yeah. Thank you for watching and let's see you when we enter the colored era and the third Doctor era. Yeah. 
Adios.